Hi, Dr. Ochoa. My name is Denise Castro. I'm working with the nursing program, and we have here a quick little video. We'd like to demonstrate some amazing projects from the nursing students and a little talk about how we're using technology. Thank you. In the next few minutes, you'll see a short video that shares our excitement on students' meaningful use of technology from three classes that they took together this first semester, a research class, chronic care, and an informatics class. From the onset of the program, we had high expectations of the nurses to be leaders both in technology and in the community. The students are not just consumers of the internet, but contributors because of our commitment to integrate technology not only in the teaching of the classes and the assessing of content with both iLearn and web-based tools like Google Apps and WordPress, but we also use these tools as vehicles for the students to demonstrate their own learning and help with the decision-making process. Here at PATH, we pride ourselves on providing technology which makes your practice easier and safer for your patients. That's why our EMR provides specifically designed technology to provide our users based on those who indicated interest in the study during a follow-up visit Wear cotton cloth underwear and pantyhose and change both at least once a day. Diet. Drink plenty of fluids, two to four quarts each day. I've often said, as soon as I walk through the door, I feel like I've been shot from a cannon. There are so many patients to see, prescriptions to refill, calls to make, tools to clean, co-workers to communicate with, and everyone always has questions to be answered. With all of these things on my mind, all day long, unfortunately, the evacuation plan takes a back seat. So I decided to perform a little experiment at my own workplace. I thought I would start small and ask my fellow employees a simple question. Where is the fire extinguisher? Where is the fire extinguisher? Where is the fire extinguisher? Excuse me, nurse, where's the fire extinguisher? I don't know, I'm busy. Nurse, where's the nearest fire extinguisher? Step into patient information for chronic care proposal by Patricia Matu Montiel. As I did my community observation, I noticed that in my clinic, as with many others, a teaching moment went unnoticed. To feel at ease if the patient had only known what to expect. Social injustice. The injustice here causes a loss of time and added expense for the patient. A bottle of 0.9% normal saline Saline wound wash, a nonstick dressing, sterile gauze, and a roll of medical tape. And apply a pair of clean gloves. After gloves are applied, Mrs. Watson, I'm glad you decided to check out our study. Thank you, likewise. Okay, so I have a couple questions to ask to make sure that you're qualified for our program. Okay. Have you been diagnosed within the past three to six months? Yes, I have. So much, so much.